on hold at Google. This is marking hour number four of being on hold today. Not consistently, but throughout the day I've talked to four different people. My issue still hasn't been resolved. And I'm still on hold. Oh. Hey. Didn't see you there. I was busy on hold. Still on hold. That classical music was supposed to make you calm. Kind of making me pissed. Hey, let me know when someone picks up, Jens. Actually, no. Put, put them on hold when they pick up. Can you put them on hold for me? Here. Put them on hold when they pick up. Can you put them on hold when they pick up? Have him answer the same questions five times. Fun fact, the average American waits on hold for six minutes. I guess you can call me the roomie of patience. Look at this call. An hour and 17 just from this one call. I've talked to five different people today and my issue is not resolved yet. I've been on hold for over four hours. It's a great way to spend a Monday, huh? I love this one, dude. I'm gonna have this one memorized soon. I want to put them on hold so bad. Has that ever been done before? Put a customer service rep on hold. One study found that 18 to 15 percent of a company's customer base is lost each year. 68 percent is due to indifferent or negative phone treatment. 68 percent of their customer bases? Thank you for patiently waiting there, um, Brandon, and I already have here uh, Teresa from our shipping and refund team. She will be explaining to you how to get the refund Perfect. Um, essentially, it's my, my compensation is mainly with the fact that I've remained on hold for multiple different phone calls today for over four hours. And additionally, the order that I placed for the Nexus 6P on March 12th, I paid for next day shipping. And with these other issues that have arose with the order, I don't believe I'll be receiving it on the 15th. And that's really kind of up in the air. No one can tell me for sure if I will or not, and they've just been providing me the 800 number to call back to remain on hold again to acquire information tomorrow, if or if not, I get my phone tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, well, that's, yeah, I hear what you're saying there. Um, okay, so as far as, uh, as far as the order goes, um, honestly, there's a chance you could get it tomorrow, but because of the uh, the processing delay, um, there's a chance that you you might not. Um, what I can do though, no matter what happens, even if you uh, if you get it tomorrow, or if you don't.
open it tomorrow, I can still what I, um, received approval to actually refund your shipping costs. So whatever the case is, as soon as it ships out, I'm just going to go in and actually refund your shipping costs. Okay, and then I'll see that adjustment on my bank statement today? Yeah. Uh, no, basically it has to ship out. After it ships out, then I can push that button. Um, and then as soon as that, that button pushes, then it's going to go uh, back to your original form of payment, so back to your bank. Okay, and then um, is, is there, like, is there a way for you to document that or provide me a way to get in contact just in case, for whatever reason, that doesn't happen? Oh, absolutely. I will be sending you, actually, I'll be sending you a follow-up email here so that, number one, we can establish a line of communication, um, and then I'll be sending you an additional one as soon as I uh, press that refund button. So I'll send you another one letting you know that I've got the, the shipping cost refund. Are you able to send that to an alternate email? Because one of the overall issues behind me not being able to track my package is that the email that I used on Google Play, um, I don't have access to. It's a Yahoo email account, and I don't have access to the Yahoo account, but it is still linked to Google accounts that I have access to. And so even if you were to send me... Like, people have tell, been telling me they've sent me all my confirmation stuff to this email, and I've told them that I don't have access to that email, so it does me no good to know that. Totally understand. Um, yeah, I can go ahead and send it. I, I would still have to send it to the Yahoo um, email address, but if you want to give me an alternative one, then I can send it to that one as well. Perfect. I am ready for that whenever you are. All right. All right. If you ever want to check out modern-daily.com, I would recommend it. <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's a online education and marketing company, completely free for every user. Oh, nice! Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, I will definitely have to go and check that out then. That would be wonderful. Um, right after I get this email out to you, though. Alright, excellent. Um, so then I will go ahead and uh, get this email set up so we have that line of communication. As soon as your order ships out, I'll go ahead and uh, get the shipping costs refunded, and I'll send you an additional email letting you know that I've gotten that taken care of, okay? Wonderful. Thank you, Teresa. You got it. Uh, any other questions that I can answer for you right now or look into for you? That should be it. I mean, I'm just confused. Like, the person that transferred me here said you guys don't offer any sort of, like, crediting at all, and I just was baffled by that. They don't have, like, a process set up for through Nexus for, like, you know, customer satisfaction type stuff. I just thought that was being as big of a company Google, and obviously Nexus appears to be a separate um, entity, but... It's just kind of baffling to me that they don't have some sort of credit system in place that managers from that customer service can't can't utilize. Yeah, no, I, I'm hearing what you're saying on that. I can definitely put that down as feedback, but that is actually correct. At this point, I know, I know that we don't have a, a process set up where we can do, like, courtesy refunds or anything like that in, in specific amounts or anything. Um, if there was, I would totally get my manager to be like, here, but I don't have that. Right. But I, I can get that, that shipping cost refunded, though. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, then, Brandon, one more thing before we go. Um, I'm, since you called in, I'm sure you know we have a survey at the end of the call. This one would be based off of your and my interaction. Would you be interested in sticking around for that? Sure. All right. Then I will get you over there. Again, thank you for contacting Google, though. I got your feedback on here, and I do hope you have a great rest of your day, okay? You as well. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks for taking a few minutes to provide your feedback. Let's get started. Overall, are you satisfied or dissatisfied with your support call? Press 1 for satisfied. Press 2 for dissatisfied. How satisfied are you? Press 1 for slightly, press 2 for somewhat, press 3 for extremely. Extreme? I don't know if I go extreme on a lot of things. Uh, there's some, there's like a love-hate, me and Teresa. Press 1 for yes, 2 for no, Shoot. or press 3 if a follow-up is required. Oh, was it resolved? Um, uh, I mean, it's sorry, still to be determined. Or, yes. She gave me a ref. Yeah, but I mean. Yep. Press one for yes or press two. 
but she's giving me a refund on it after it ships, so... Mad props, Teresa. Way to handle. Way to handle business. So Teresa helped me a lot. Um, I believe you guys need a credit process in place for customer satisfaction. Um, additionally, if you're bored, whoever is listening to this, check out modern-daily.com. Thank you.